Good evening, and welcome back to Timberborn, where we have a power line right here. It's not connected yet, but um, it is intact. It goes along here, it goes through these here. I had to do that because we're going to put a, 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 um, a gate in there. Kind of awkward gate, somehow, but we'll, we'll get to get there. Uh, but it runs all the way along here, runs all along here to, to here, so it's really to be connected. Awesome. And this is producing 2,500 power right now, so that should power all of this nicely right now, which would be fantastic. Um, we've got some wheels being built. Other than that, everything's okay. Some of this has been built here, but this is kind of stopped because we don't have any more planks, which is real good. Our trees are done. We are very much done on trees. Very, very much done on trees. Um, everything is good, with the exception of beavers. I did lose a lot of beavers. Last episode, I spent the food and things was a bit of a problem. The food is now fixed by changing these up to be some planting, some harvesting. You can see we've got patches of carrots, which is good. That means that we're not harvesting everything and we're filling up and stuff. That's good, we've got like 900 to one. But that's not gonna last. Uh, we currently only have 22 beavers, well, we've got 40 beavers in here because obviously 43 in total because of the, the, uh, the kits. But previously we had over 100 beavers here. And I think the reason our food is caught up is because so many died. So we need to work on food. And we need to work on the opening these up and making them their own districts. So I need more beavers to do what I want to do, which is going to be awkward. Let's have a quick look at our migration and uh, see how we do it. So water's got 50, which is good. Uh, it's just got three unemployed beavers. Cool. Uh, the lobby yards don't have anything and the logs, uh, logs have 20 with four unemployed beavers. Your workshop is nothing right now. Farm's got 60 with actually two jobs spare, but I think that's okay because that would be the um, holy farm. And District 1 doesn't need 20 beavers anymore. In fact, District 1 really could be cut back to being... I think it's four, maybe. Yeah, I think a minimum of four, and we could send the rest out. Uh, so as long as we got four in the district center, they can supply this. That's fine. Um, and we got haulers here, which are just added an added bonus. Yeah, right now we got some jobs going. We got we got um, uh, lumberjacks and other bits and pieces on there. Uh, maybe more than four because we need. Uh, we're gonna have to have gathering like. My plan for district one is gonna be to run this road all the way up to this this river here, and then everything on this side of the river that becomes green is ours. Uh, and that's going to be all district one up there. And we'll do the same here. We'll, do, we'll run that well. Actually, we won't bother with the road. We'll just... Everything on this side of the river will become... Will become district one. And that gives us areas to plant our... I was going to say grapes. What? <laughs> plant our grapes. That's how they do it. Blueberries, they're secretly grapes. You pour grapes and water into a vat and they're, they're not... They're not kits. They're, they're secretly made of wine. Um, it, Berries. Uh, we can plant all the berries up here, which means we can clear this up and then this can become something else like for instance food because i want to do a jump on the food that's the plan and by a jump i mean i want to jump from the first food which is carrots to the last food almost the last food because more food has been added since last time but um i want to jump over to the bakeries and make bread because bread is the most efficient space possible if that makes sense um one wheat field Bomb, uh, here one wheat field gives you three wheat in ten days and a carrot uh, gives you three carrots in four days but one wheat is ground in a grits milk that is providing this hasn't changed and i haven't looked for a while so it might change uh, but one wheat is ground to one flour and one flour becomes five bread so one square one tile of wheat is 15 bread whereas one tile of carrots is three carrots so it's five times more efficient to plant wheat and then grits mill it and then bake it, which is, yeah. So I'm thinking of doing that here, where we're just going to have this district. And this can like become grits mills, and then maybe next to it could become bakeries, because we won't need that much space for it. Then maybe like this, this peninsula up here can become everywhere where we process food, because it's got plenty of space. Uh, so that can become processing food, and this can become making food. Even though I fully expect to need more space in this to make food. Because of how many beavers we're going to have, I 
think, I mean, we're up to 150, 173 already. Uh, so, yeah, because of distribution. Distribution really hurts. Uh, you have to spend so many beavers in distributing things around. It, it really does affect you in the long way. So we're going to have a lot of beavers in this game. A lot of so, although I might have over-engineered some of these places, uh, I don't know, maybe the water's a little bit over-engineered. A little bit, maybe, but I'd rather too much and then not enough, then not enough. So, so that's the plan. If we do grit smooths here, now I don't know how many we're going to need. Um, we just want to build it in a way that it can be expanded out for more and more, like this is here. So this can have more gears and this can have more planks. I don't think we're going to need more gears and planks here, um, to be honest with you. Uh, when you use up loads of planks, you just replenish them over time. You know, you, you have a buffer for them. So, yeah, um, I feel like a lot of this could probably be cut back and not have quite as many beavers doing things. But we're going over the top. We're going over the top. So let's have a look at doing this, shall we? Let's have a look at doing this. Now, I need to chop down all these trees to get rid of them. Or I need to just delete all the trees. And I think we're just going to do that. We're going to go mark resources for demolition. And we're going to go... Pop like that and unlock that. And we're just going to delete all the trees. All the trees can be removed. I think you can reach reach up to here right now, but when the path goes up, you should be able to reach everywhere. So um, we'll get rid of all those trees. We'll run the path up to stop the trees coming over. We'll get a forester in and we'll plant some blueberries. And uh, we will get that going. Um, I think I want to kind of block it off maybe back here so the blueberries are just above. Um, and then we can get the blueberries in. We can move the water tank to be inside these barriers, so this becomes a, well. We'll leave that water tank there because it could be useful for the district that's here. So, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll build a water tank inside here. Uh, I'm not sure where. Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, doesn't really matter where we put it. And I definitely want a storage, so we'll have storage down here for um, berries as well, so we can get loads of berries in. And if we have like a big hit of uh we need those berries we've got them and then they can replenish over time rather than relying on just the 20 that's in here um this is for the chestnuts and dandelions as well uh i don't quite know how it got all them but it did then we can repurpose this to be in um our grits mills which is fine uh we also will then need a science area but we've got eleven thousand science i think we can unlock the number crunch with that yeah does require iron to make so we're not ready to make that yet but we are in a point where we could get the number cruncher and start running so uh, the number cruncher just generates science over time for free so we definitely want several of those because we're going to need control towers to boost our golem so and when we get golems as well we could we could cut back on how many beavers we have so we're going to struggle early on but if we can make our way to golems we can then cut back on how many beavers we actually need and, and, and then that would cut back on how much food we need. Although I want to do this with golems, but I definitely want to have like a set limit. I don't know. How many beavers should we aim for? What what number of beavers should we aim for? I don't want to replace everything with golems. We could do that. We could replace that. When you get there, replace all of our beavers with golems. Get rid of the food. And this could be a golem plant. We, we, that's that's completely doable in this game. But I feel like we should have a set number of beavers. So what, what do you think? Should we have a... 200, uh, 250, how, how many beavers do you reckon we should try and maintain? And bear in mind, right now, these support roughly 10 beavers each. So when when the 10th beaver pops out of the breeding uh, pod, the first beaver should die of old age, roughly. The aging system has changed because it's obviously now dependent on their overall well-being. Um, and that was for kits as well. If I go to kits, uh, previously you used to be able to get bonuses from kits by... Um, but it's just the growth speed by giving them the campfire. That doesn't work now. Uh, now you just have to do so. If we get five uh, well being, our growth speed is increased by 10. And if we get 10 well being, our growth speed is increased by five. And 10 well being increases 10%. So you just want to give them overall well being, which is not something we're doing. There's no entertainment, there's no like that at all. Um, I don't think this separate system of doing what we're doing here can really support very many entertainment places we can put some in in places granted like the uh, the wet fur things and some 
some places, but a lot of it just you kind of need to be more centralized. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So, um, with that being said, how many beavers do we need? We'll figure that one out. Uh, we've got plenty of trees coming in, we've got this coming in, so we need to clear this out. And uh, I don't think we need to set these up just yet. Uh, we do want to, we do want to do a couple things here though. Uh, I want to set off a distribution post, which is going to be. I'm going to put it opposite that one there. I think that only needs one. This one might need two. So I've got space for two. So I'm going to put one in here. Put another one in there, but I'm going to pause that one. Just so I don't build on top of that by mistake. I, it might need two. Um, purely because... I'm going to move them. I'm going to offset. Um, uh, oh, yeah, can't do that. Sorry. Uh, it might need two because one will be distributing to everywhere, like the logs are. So it'll just be sending like 10 planks out to everywhere. Uh, so it can build in the future if it needs to build. The second one will be distributing to places that use planks. I think there's only one, which is the... Um, the there's two. There's two. There's the wood workshop and then there's the gear workshop. So this will be exporting to here. Um, so we will need two of them. And that one will be dedicated to just going to the gear workshop and that. And the wood, the wood workshop will probably end up next to it over here anyway. So... Then let's put in our distribution post here and here. I will be both of them. Why not? Oh, oh, come on, get, come on, get bought a safe bit. Um, and then need to put in the the drop off points. Now, this one's easy because you can go here. This one's not so easy because there's no space for it. I think I might just put it here. Like that. It's going to be the best way to do it. Then we can cut this one off. And I've made a mistake. I've made a terrible, terrible mistake. And I've realised it. I need to put in right here a gate. And a gate there. And now we can't spread the power around because of that there. So maybe we'll move the gate down by one. And I should have deleted that. I don't know why I did that. Like that. Oop. There we go. Because you can't run power through a gate, which is annoying. It would annoy. It would, would be very nice if the gate was was bigger on top and allow power to transfer through. That would make perfect sense to them. I really feel like that would would make perfect sense to this big top bit here to actually have power transfer through the gate, make it a little bit taller so it matches one high. So, yeah. Okay, and then we're going to connect up this this like this uh we could put something in here if we wanted to they need houses as well um how many people are these going to need uh one two three four eight twelve you're gonna need twelve so minimum twelve please and you're gonna need two three four five six ten fourteen eighteen you're going to need a minimum of 80. At least right now you're going to need a minimum of 80. There we go. Put up. Okay. We can drop this right one down if you wanted to, although it's currently... Ah, oh, you've also got some of these actually have extra things on them. You've got, like, you're gathering wood. Because uh, I want to clear out things. I think we can get rid of these now. Uh, not that she did anything. At all. Uh, ever, I don't think. Uh, you're part of the one. Uh, so, yeah. There we go. I think that's good enough. Okay. Well, ah, some of the things we need, which I have forgotten about and should have probably built beforehand. Um, some water tanks. Okay, and distribution limits. So we want to set everything to 10, with the exception of the carrots. A lot of this is going to be zero, it's never going to be needed, but let's get everything to 10. Water should be 300, and everything else should be 10. There we go, we're done. Okay. Okay. And then you're the same.
Okay, there we go. Distribution set. Awesome. Now we just need to import the stuff as well. So let's come over to logs and grab our only one that's running right now. You're going to add some more roots. So there, logs. And there, logs. Okay, and now here, uh, we need more distribution posts. We don't have enough. We need another distribution post put in. So we're going to have to unpause you, which means you're going to probably have to have more people sent to you. Three unemployed people. Yeah. Uh, I think I set all these to be a low priority. Yeah. They don't go in the water first. The front ones are higher priority. So this one should be a higher priority. This one. And then all the rest are a low priority workspace. So we always have some beavers pumping water, but then they go to distribution because it's important that other beavers get drinks, not just them. So there we go. Um, so you uh, are going to add a route to this one, and that's going to be water. Okay, uh, I think. I don't think the Lumbyard's going to have that many people. So like the logs, they don't need it. And then this one's going to add a route to the gears or another set of water. Which would be quite nice. Uh, where can you reach now? You cannot reach anywhere. Can you reach... You can reach to all of these places to build things. So maybe you'll help build some of these if you have enough planks. I don't think you do. I don't think you have any planks. Nope. Uh, the planks are actually stored here. So I kind of need to send beavers up here and then hope and pray they don't die. Um... So let's unpause this one as well and we'll add a new route to here and this will be carrots. So we'll leave gears turned off and we'll just turn on this one here. So we can build the stuff inside here. Although it can't build those because that requires gears, so that requires gears. I've messed this up, haven't I? I have desperately, desperately messed this up. Okay. Right. Let's let's try and correct this. Right, hold on, hold on, how deep is this? This is one deep. Let's go and build uh, that there. And we're going to put more distribution posts along here. Hoping I've got enough space to build as many as I need. We're going to probably need some more people. We'll see. We'll see. It's just taking them out of there. So they redistribute some stuff. Put on, put on, put on. Okay. You're going to the dumb yard. So you deliver to them. We'll get some delivery going on first. Uh, who are you? You are a builder. You're not carrying anything. You're going to here to pick up some wood. And then probably start building these. Which is fine. You can you can do that. We'll let that build. We'll let that build. We'll let it do its thing a little bit. So that'll be good. So you'll build this, which will reconnect the power. Uh, let's connect the actual power, shall we? Oop. Okay, we will clear out all these trees here. We will put berries in up here. We will clear out this here. Our beavers are going to move the things around. I may have to put more beavers in this one. Because it's the mega distribution. I don't think I need as many here. Although, actually now I think about it. The lumber yard is probably one that's going to require a dedicated source because it doesn't need 10 it needs more than one so let's not do lumber yards on that one and let's unpause one of these and add its own route or logs there we go dedicated dedicated distribution and now you are you have no spare job which is awesome which is awesome okay no one's moved over to here no one's moved over to here oh no two people moved over to here That's a good thing, I suppose, technically. If we've been moved to here, because you can access the gears in here. And then start building these. Yep, you've got 20 gears in that one. You've got 20 gears in that one. So that's done. Awesome. You just hopefully will get your food and stuff in time. Uh, you don't have any food coming in. Ah. Oh, yes, because we don't have anything built here. 
Okay, we might have to actually turn off this uh, this area. That's it, our gear workshop will be zero. We don't want any beavers coming in here just yet. No, two, two, be gone, be gone. Go away, go, go work elsewhere. You tent the gears out, that's good enough. Because uh, we don't have any way to get food and stuff over here yet. Food and water and bits. So, uh, but we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. The gear workshop is going to be paused. This is going to be done here. Uh, I think next episode we'll work on food in he here. We'll get some farms in. As I said, because you need less space for the grain, um, we'll need a fifth of this. So we've got this here. We basically need one of these fields for grain to produce the same amount of grain uh, same amount of bread as this is producing carrot so so yeah so that's going to be pretty good so we could probably just make like this segment here uh, it doesn't need to be this segment here and then when you get a second type of food in they will eat less of the first food because they spread the food out so you then use less carrots so um uh yeah so it's not like they're greedy and they eat extra food obviously it's the same they, they eat like one meal a day um, or however many meals that two two point two meals a day or whatever it was we figured out and um it can be whichever one so adding a second food source it's it's the same it's, you're not removing like if, if we removed the carrots and replaced it with potatoes it would be the same amount because we're using the same amount of space but if we removed it and replaced it with wheat for instance you're technically gaining more from that small wheat farm than what you've destroyed from the carrots so we could just do that we could just take off this corner bit here and make this wheat and that would work fine i might do that instead of doing it up here because wheat only needs a small area so let's just do let's just do that let's just do that let's just go um oh no, don't do that let's just go clear that out we don't want anything more in there um i have if i pause the game briefly i have set the entire map to be choppable so everywhere on the map is choppable for trees every single location um, up here because we're not going to get up there but yeah, everything on the main crater is a uh, is choppable so wherever we put in long lumberjacks they will work you know. so we'll do this and then we'll plant wheat in here let it grow and then by the time it grows we'll be able to do more up here uh obviously there are different car yes carrots only take four days to grow and wheat takes 10 days to grow but wheat is five times better and takes 2.2 .2 times to grow which means if it, if it was two and a half times to grow, wheat is twice as twice as good. For space, wheat is twice as good as uh, carrots. But it does require two other buildings to process, so it has its own drawbacks. Um, but I feel like it's worth doing. I feel like it's worth diversifying our food. Which does mean I'm going to have to put more distribution posts in, because now we need wheat being transported somewhere else. So we're going to need even more people down here. The food is going to become a really big area. Really, really big area. Uh, I can't, I can't uh, go over this because of this here, so yeah. Food's going to definitely become a very, very big and interesting area. We might have to put some more distribution posts like up here or something, I don't know. Are you full? You're almost full. I'm going to pause this one, not that it's running yet, but I'm going to pause that one because I want you to clear up all the rest of the scrap here. You are working. So, okay. So that's the plan. That's the plan. That's what we're going to do. We're going to clear out the trees, put berries in there. We're going to clear out. We're going to let this get built. And then we'll re-enable this one, let it get built. We'll let this clear out and put wheat in here. And we'll come to the next episode when all that is done. Hopefully, if I remember. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, as always, have fun.